while I'm like editing and stuff too. You feel me? So yeah. I'm over here trying to get inspiration. I'm trying to understand just like the the importance of telling a story and what people yeah. need to feel when they watch your video. And so once I kind of started coming up and understanding my own formula as far as how I wanted to move and how I wanted to grow this thing, that's when it was like the sky's the limit pretty much. And so, yeah, man. So then from that point, um, I was going to go play Juco, um, but they was requiring the vaccine at the time. And so okay. that didn't work out too well. So I ended up basically sitting out for a year again. Um, mm. And then I was going to another program. Like, but then in the midst of that, I'm over here going to open gyms, open runs, hoping with college players and pros and all this other stuff. So I'm hooping. It's yeah. just right now, I just need the opportunity. Sweet. Once I yep. step on the floor with these dudes, it's over. But I'm just like, yo, I just need, I just need a shot. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So then from that point, I got another college look. I ended up enrolling at the, that college. And then next thing you know, season's about to hit. They're like, hey, Kyrie, you can't play because you didn't get the vaccine. So you either got to take this vaccine or you can't mm. play. So that's two years in a row when I'm dealing with that. So I'm wow. over here like, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I ended up sitting out another year. So then going to another situation that next year I end up going to, um, I was going to go to another JUCO program around, you know, locally. And mm -hmm. the next thing you know, they end up hitting me with the same thing. And I was like, dude, this is insane. And I'm just like, dude, like there's no other way around this, bro. I said, respectfully, like, I'm not going to do it. It's just my, my choice. I don't think any athlete should have to face a consequence because of that. Cause all these like hoop dreams, are being yeah. dead now because of that. You know what I yeah. mean? So then... Hey, Will, hey, Will he carry Irvin for real, with not he? <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm hearing the story, man. I'm hearing the story. I'm like, okay. He following his namesake. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Man, I'm sorry, man. I was, I couldn't. I couldn't do I it, bro. It. I couldn't do up. it. Fellas, I couldn't do it, man. So then next thing you know, man, I, uh, I ended up going to a program. This was last, my last year, this last year. And um, I ended up going to this D3 school. I went to a whole program that didn't even know who I was, didn't have no idea who I, what I had going on, didn't care anything about me. I only went to the school because one, I was like, yo, I can't sit out for two, another year, bro. I can't do it. Like, I need to go hoop somewhere. Respectfully, I'm not hooping in these other, in these other leagues because this isn't the comp that I want right now. I feel mm. like if anything, this is hindering me. So I'm right. like, I need to go play against some organized comp, get my film, and then go somewhere else. I said, at this point, mm -hmm. I don't care who I play for. I just want to play. So then I end up going into a situation I honestly believe, you know, I don't think it was the best situation for me. Mm -hmm. And I just, I don't think it was one of my smartest decisions either. I definitely will say that. But I was in a point where I was just like, man, like, I just want to go hoop. So I end up going to a program that my younger brother, he was graduating at the time. He was going to that school. And so I was like, man, I'm going to just roll with you. I don't care where you are. I said, I'm going to roll with you. And then me and you will just, we'll hang out and do what we need to do. But we need to go here. And so I brought my other, my uncle with me. He's, again, as I say, he's a year older than me. His name's Lance. Um, okay. We're actually playing, we're going to uh, play Juco next year too, by the way. But, um, uh, so we ended up going to that D3 school. Once we go to that D3 school, uh, again, as I said, I, I got pretty much accepted on the day of orientation, like mm. literally. So it was one of those things where it's like, I don't, this was literally God. Cause I'm like, man, like I, there's no way I should, I should be here right now. Wow. So I ended hold up on, like, hold on, hold on, Kyrie. You, you gotta, you gotta fill in some plugs for me now. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you, I just heard you say you're going to Juco, but you went to D3. How, how, how does that work? Edu educate us. How how can you go to D3 and then go back to JUCO? Edu educate us on that. Yeah, for sure. The thing is, so my my freshman year, I know it's a long story, but it's all going to make sense. So my freshman year in 2018, the thing I told you about what my coach not making certain promises, right? And, and mm -hmm. basically, uh, you know, the school program, whatever. During that time, I think it's still there anyway, but there's a varsity and JV program. Originally, from what the conversations and stuff that we had, 
the initial plan was for me to play on the main team. So then when I got to the program, I did what I was supposed to do, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I end up playing on the JV team. Ooh. And if you know what basically what that is, it's basically JUCO schools. And basically what they do for D- Division three, D2, whatever, because D2 has this too. I'm not sure if D1 has this, but I know D3, D2 has it. Pretty much what that is, you're playing against JUCOs, the local JUCOs around the programs. And it doesn't count as eligibility from what mm. I read and from what I've seen. It doesn't count as eligibility. It doesn't. Wow. So my c- career, I've only been playing JV teams. <laughs> right. So, so I have not played not one game where it was like, actually, you know what? Let me backtrack. Because when in 2018, I played, I played a few games on the varsity team when I had gotten moved up. But mm-hmm. again, it was just a whole, it was just a whole situation. But I got moved up. I played like three or four games on the main team my freshman year. And then that was it. So then next thing you know, obviously that year is burned because of that. But Absolutely. throughout these other years, I haven't played any legitimate basketball in the sense of like my eligibility getting burned. Eligibility requirements, right. You feel me? Wow. So. I, throughout that time, I'm just like, all right, now I'm I'm using my situation well. I'm like, all right, I need to make this work. And me mm-hmm. being the smart young man that I am, I'm like, all right, cool. Like this is how I'm gonna move next. This is how this is what the next decision is gonna look like. This is what I see myself within these next six months. This is where I see myself within these next three months. This is where I need to be within these next two months. So it's like everything that I'm doing is always strategic. And again, I have my father. He's very resourceful. To the mm. point where he's helping me just making sure that I'm staying on track and doing everything I'm supposed to do. Um, but again, so I ended up playing Division Three last year. Played on the JV team pretty much because, as I told y'all, I'm just trying to move. Like, I'm just trying to hoop pretty much. I know it's a long story, y'all, so bear with me. But again, I'm trying to hoop, doing it at this and that and third, blah, blah, blah. So then next thing you know, I end up that year, the like same fall, I'm sorry, I ended up not. Going into the next semester, I pretty much was like, man, I'm good. Like, I'm not going to do it because I'm just wasting money. It's not a good situation for me. Like, I'd rather right. just go ahead and just work out and do what I need to do. Um, so where I am now from that point, I was just like, all right, I really need to lock in on what I'm trying to do as far as from a social media sense again. And as far as, um, you know, just how I can get some quality ball without yeah. making sure I go to this person for this or going to. Because that's one of the reasons why I started the cage anyway, mm. was because I wanted mm. to make an environment where, it one, it was competitive, two, it was quality run, three, personally for me, I'm not going to go ahead, because nowadays, you got to go ahead and DM certain trainers, you got to DM certain people to get the, to, the Addy to go to the run and stuff. I'm not yeah. doing that, bro. Like, respect yeah. me, I'm not doing that. I, who do I look like kissing up to this dude talking about, oh, yeah, can you invite me here? I'm not doing that, bro. It's not how yeah. So I'm like, yeah. you know what? I got, I'm very resourceful to the point where I'm like, I'm just going to do my own thing, bro. And I said, from there, whoever is with it is with it. Who's not, who's not. I don't care. I just want a ball, bro. So I was and like, the cha- and the cage I, I was born. Too. And the cage I, was born, man. And that's what I was going to tell you, man. I, I, I do want to, I want to transition to the cage, man. Because first of all, I got to say this, man. The name itself is just hard. Let me just put that out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I love that. It, Appreciate it. I feel like when I feel like there's this element of fight built in. Like whatever you're fighting for is built into the name. When you walk in, you need to come with it. What's when you were developing this, what was the mindset behind the whole idea of the cake? Um, well, the first thing is I wanted to make something that stuck true to me. Because I'm never going to put something out that I don't resonate with. So I was like, what's something that really means a lot to me? Knowing that people will say, if people, if you were to ask the next person, they will vouch and be like, yeah, that sounds like him. So I'm like, no, every time when I get on the floor, I told y'all, every time I get on the floor, I'm killing. I'm a, like, I'm a legitimate dog. And I'm not saying that to be cocky or arrogant, but I'm a dog, man. And so like anytime... When it comes to when it comes to us getting on the floor, it's like, yo, whoever I'm matching up with, you're getting de- playing 94 feet the whole game, getting denied. Like you're not getting nothing over here, bro. It's not happening. So the thing was for me, it's like, yo, every time we play against somebody, it's like, yeah, it's gonna be a dog fight today. It's gonna be a dog fight. Oh, Kyrie's a dog. 
And so, again, I wanted to make something that I knew that, one, resonated with me, but then, two, if I were to do this, people would vouch and be like, yeah, that's, that sounds like something Kyrie would do, or let alone that's who Kyrie is. So I was just like, you know what? I came up with a few different names, but I was like, nah, let's say, like, that's the cage. I was like, dogs, cage. I was like, yeah, that's it. I said, the cage is what it's called. We're calling it the cage. And then from that point on, I already pretty much knew who I wanted to kind of get involved within that, you know, and things Mm -hmm. like that. But that's how the name was. That's how the name was emerged, man. I just. Acronym in that name. That's the cage. Yeah. Does the C-A-G-E stands for something? Yeah. Nah, nah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's just the cage. And then our motto is where the dogs are made. And again, mm-hmm. as I said, I'm a dog, bro. 